the team and I have set out searching for nocturnal creatures. And while the thorny devil is only active during the day, there are other animals we can encounter. And it seems as if I have stumbled upon one of the outback's most dangerous snakes, the Death Adder. Mario! Dude, uh, there's a snake. I got a snake. 100%. It might be a Death Adder. You can just see a little bit of the back of it right here. Look through there. Is that a Death Adder? Death oh, it's facing right there, right there. There it is. Oh, I know what it is. Do you know? That's a legless lizard, isn't it? That is a lizard, that actually. That is a legless <laughs> lizard. So, okay, totally non venomous. Wow, look at it go. Kind of the right color to be a oh. Death Adder, right? Yeah, I mean, you never know, but that's uh, that's definitely not even a snake. How about that? No, and there I was thinking my mindset is in venomous snake mode. And, you know, the reason, again, why I didn't just grab a snake, the most important thing you need to remember in Australia is there are more venomous snakes than there are non-venomous snakes. Even something that looks completely unassuming can be so venomous it can kill you. Uh, but let's shift gears. This is, in fact, a lizard, a legless lizard. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and catch it at this yeah, point. Yeah, catch it. Totally safe. There we go. That is fantastic. How about that? What a bizarre creature. Wow. Look at the design. Now, they do come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, and colors. I believe this is the Burton's legless lizard. And it's arguable to say that this may be one of the most common reptile species throughout all of Australia. It looks so snake-like. They're oftentimes misidentified for being snakes. You can see why it's called a legless lizard. All I need to do is hold it up like that and you can see absolutely no legs. But they do have slight remnants of legs, little vestigial legs. They just look like a little skin flap. Vestigial body parts, like the legs of this lizard, are anatomical features that no longer have a purpose in the animal's current form. Over time, these body parts became less and less necessary and were pretty much rendered useless, all a part of the evolution these lizards have gone through to survive in this sandy environment. Now you notice the design of the head, very triangular in shape. These creatures are terrestrial, hunting on the ground, or even fossorial, hunting through the leaves and all the underbrush, looking for small insects, arachnids, and other lizards. Believe it or not, this guy will feast upon geckos and skinks. What they'll do is lay in wait, and they'll just flick out the tongue. They'll sense a gecko coming close, and as soon as it does, whoo, lash out and grab onto it. They have incredible jaw pressure, and they'll crush the skull of the gecko and then swallow down its entire body. So it has a lot of snake-like similarities, but in fact is just one of the most bizarre lizards you can possibly come across. Now some of the key differences between snakes and legless lizards are that lizards have ear holes. Just on the back of its skull there, you can see those ear holes. And you can see the eyes are actually rather small. They do have good vision for being nocturnal, but very streamlined body, and it almost looks as if it's completely smooth. And like many lizard species, they're actually capable of dropping their tail. So I do have to be very careful. You can see the tail basically starts just beyond the cloaca there. So that's the length of the lizard's tail right there. Check that out, really long tail. Half body, half tail. All right, let's just place this back down into the sand. Watch it slither off. All right, and that lizard's gonna keep hunting. And we're gonna move on to see what else we can find. Where my snake tongs go? They're over here. Hey, I got something. Oh my gosh, I got one. That's a thorny devil. <laughs> a thorny devil? I'm gonna be so mad if you guys are kidding. Dude, look at this. Right there. Yes! 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 Are you kidding me? I just caught him out of the corner of my eye. I just happened to look back and he was sitting right there. Wow. Dude. Okay. Get him, get him, pick him up. Oh, oh man. He's a like lot. It sharper than a horned lizard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my wow. gosh. The oh, holy man. grail of sand dune, desert, Australia animals. That little face looks just like the grin of a devil. Look at his little sleepy looking eyes looking at us saying, oh, I'm just looking for ants. What are you guys doing out here? It's so hot and dry. 
Now, obviously the name Thorny Devil comes from those two very distinct horns that are perched just there on top of the skull. Now these lizards are perfectly designed for this completely parched environment. They require almost no water for survival and actually get a lot of the moisture that they rely on from the food that they eat, which is primarily ants. When it does rain, when there's any moisture in the air, they're actually capable of collecting little droplets of water on those spines and they will filter that water down and into their mouth. Now they've actually been observed in captivity being able to bring water up the sides of their legs. So it's almost like it's a spiky little sponge, the way that the water can travel up their scales and get all the way to the face. And you may be noticing that large mound on the back side of this lizard's head. That's actually a false head. When this lizard feels as if it's being threatened, they'll oftentimes tuck their head down and in between the front legs, and then this will act as a deterrent to any potential predator. Predators oftentimes want to try to bite at something's head. That's the quickest way to kill it. But if you grab a hold of that, you can see those two very large spines. Those are going to go right into your mouth, and you're going to just get a mouthful of pain. And you may be thinking, well, what would possibly eat something this adorable? Not likely snakes because of those spines, but birds and even monitor lizards would prey upon a thorny devil if it was able to see it. They're incredibly well camouflaged, especially in all of this red sand. Each and every thorny devil is unique unto its own. No two thorny devils have the same exact pattern structure. And one way that scientists oftentimes tell the difference between the thorny devils that they have found and recorded is to look at the belly. That pattern is completely distinct and unique amongst individuals. And even the belly is completely covered in spines. This lizard is perfectly camouflaged and perfectly designed to survive in this harsh desert ecosystem. Well, I would say that when it comes to finding the bizarre lizards of Australia, the thorny devil is at the peak of that mountain. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.